All right, on behalf of the Mayor and City Council, I'd like to welcome everybody to our 2024 September 11th program. Uh, everyone remembers where we were that awful morning, a day much like today. So, to get started, the Chamber Ensemble was to be here, and they are not, so uh, we're going to make our keynote speaker do double duty. Would everyone please rise for our national anthem as sung by Mr. Ron Schroyer. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the Thank you, Mr. Schroyer. Awesome as always. Uh, for our invocation from Calvary Assembly Church, we will have Pastor Matt Goldsberry. Before I pray, can we take a moment, just bow in silence, and take a moment to remember those whose lives have forever been changed and a nation that will never forget. Almighty God, we know you are our hope and we know you're our strength in times of trouble. 23 years later, we are still reminded of that tragic day, that September 11th, the chaos, the fear, and the uncertainty that followed. Above all, 23 years later, we still have the scars upon our nation. We will forever be grateful for all the first responders and all the individuals who placed themselves in harm's way to protect and serve. So many of those brave individuals, lives were lost. Today is a day to remember and honor them for their sacrifice and all their families who even today mourn and grieve for their lost loved ones. We know, loving God, you see their pain, and we know you are able to bring comfort to the brokenhearted. From New York to the Pentagon to PA, we remember, lest we forget. From that day, from that day, from on that day that drew all Americans together in unity to sadly today, where we see and feel great division, hatred in our country, we ask for your help. Today is not about politics but about being Americans, honoring and remembering. God bless the United States. God bless those who gave their lives. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, amen. Thank you, Pastor Goldsberry. Uh, I would like to recognize some of the local officials that are here from Senator Stefano's office, Mr. John Frick, from the Fayette County, Commissioner Scott Dunn, Commissioner Dave Lohr, Clerk of Courts, Tim Dye, uh, I'm sorry, from Vince Vasidi's office, Mary Over, sorry Mary, 
our county treasurer, Melissa Tazan, Councilwoman Carol Tiberio, Councilman Bob Topper, Magistrate Ron Haggerty. Thank you all for taking time out of your busy schedules to remember. Uh, now, from the Connorsville Chamber Ensemble, God Bless America, under the direction of Michelle Harbaugh. Thank you. Uh, I also would like to recognize some of our first responders that are here. Fayette EMS, South Connorsville Fire Department, Connorsville Township Volunteer Fire Department, and members of New Haven Hose. Thank you all for being the first responders. Oh, and the Connorsville Police Auxiliary, sorry about that. When getting a guest speaker, you always think about the first responders and what this day represents, but the ultimate first responders are our armed forces. And here's our keynote speaker today. We have retired command master chief, retired from Veterans Affairs, rehabilitation officer for the severely wounded and disabled, Mr. Ron Schroyer. Thank you. You know, when Vern asked me to be a speaker uh, today, I thought, okay, what am I going to say today? And Vern brought up, we remember the days, all of us in, in the audience today, everybody except for the young, we remember exactly where we were, what we were doing on that particular day. We never forget it. We, it's imprinted in our minds. So I thought today would be a good example for me to use what I was doing on that day when, 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 it, when this occurred. The VA just hired 65 counselors throughout the country and overseas. They are rehabilitation counselors, veteran service representatives for compensation and pension, and I was an instructor for these people in Philadelphia, the federal facilities in Philadelphia, uh, to train each and every one of them in the VA system. That morning, I prepared all the lesson plans for that morning, and at eight o'clock, when we had our first class, we were interrupted, okay, and required to, it, to transfer our complete class over to the auditorium, okay? When we got to the auditorium, there was this giant screen, and this it's a federal facility, there's screens all around. And there was the World Trade Center, one World Trade Center on fire. And I said, well, is this a movie? That's the first thing I said, is this a movie? What's going on? <laughs> then, the expressions on those young people, now you're talking counselors and young people, Okay, who are just out of college that got hired by the VA, okay, and something like this has occurred to f for their first day on the job. Now, as we were watching and listening to the news, the second plane came and hit the second tower. The expressions and the screams on those young people's faces, I will never forget. I will never forget. So, what can I say? Okay, we had to bring in, we, first of all, we had to evacuate, the Department of Defense says we need to evacuate all federal facilities immediately. 
Therefore, we went out, got far away from the facility, the buses picked us up and took us back to our hotels, etc. And when we got back to the hotel, we had to stay there locked down for three days. When we got the clearance to go back to the VA facility, we had to bring in counselors, counseling psychologists, to, to actually have interviews with each one of these students. So that's just a, a reminder of where I was, and each and every one of you were in different places on, those, on that day. And then I was worried about my daughter, um, who was down in Pittsburgh near the federal building. I was worried about that, of course. Now, let's talk, let's go forward a moment. That dreadful day caused a war to break out throughout the world. The VA had to deal with some of the severely wounded that were in Walter Reed and Bethesda. As a rehabilitation counselor for, for the severely wounded and disabled, I was assigned down to Walter Reed and Bethesda to bring them back to Pittsburgh because the first severely wounded were from the Pittsburgh region in southwestern Pennsylvania. And we had to accept them from Walter Reed. So not only did we, all of us, witness the 9-11, a lot of us have witnessed the soldiers, sailors, Marines, Coast Guard, allies coming back, half of a man, half of a woman, because of 9-11. So what can I say today? It's not if it'll happen again, it's when it'll happen again. So my comments today are for the fallen. The fallen from 9-11 in those both World Trade Centers, the Pentagon 93 Memorial, just miles away from us. We need to remember, we cannot forget what has occurred. Therefore, pray. Pray. Sometimes I wonder when wars will end. Sometimes I wonder when terror, terror will end. I actually believe that when Jesus Christ comes back, that's when it will end. I've seen some horrors because I'm a counselor. That's my job. I've seen suicide. I'm a counselor. That's my job. But I will never forget 9-11 and the horror of those people that died on that day. Thank you. Thank you, Ron. All right, to perform My Country Tis a V, the Chamber Ensemble. I must say, our sports teams may not be what they once were, but you can always count on a team of voices from the Connorsville School District to uplift any event that we have. Thank you so much.
Okay, for our closing prayer, we will have Pastor Matt Goldsberry back up again. Could we just take a moment longer and give thanks to all those first responders that are here with us today? They're ever at the call and beacon of emergency, they are there. And also, thank you, Vern, and the city of uh, Hall and Count Connellsville for this today. Thank you, Vanna, Verna. All right, let's take a moment and pray. Heavenly Father, we come to you today in knowledge that, Lord, what we're experiencing here today is the result of what took place 23 years ago. And in those 23 years, Father, we never want to forget, and in the years ahead, those who gave their lives in sacrifice, in devotion to their country, and in the protection of their fellow Americans. Not far from here in Shanksville is the stark reminder of those on that flight 93 who gave their lives for us, even here, because, Father, of what the terrorists had planned. May we take it upon ourselves going forward to teach those who are younger the value and the importance of today and never forget the names that are inscribed on monuments around this country and families who today grieve with sadness and pain. God bless the United States. And this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you all for attending. This concludes our program for today. Thank you.